I think you need to accept. And we're recording. Excellent. Well, hello, everyone, and good morning, or good afternoon, or good whatever it is where you are. Um, <laughs> hi, this is Mark from SAFE, and with me I have... Let's say hi, folks. Hi, everybody. Hi. Brian <laughs> here. Brian Suzanne here. And Suzanne. Suzanne's our new uh, social media coordinator and uh, expert. I'm doing a fantastic <laughs> job. So that's good. Um, we're here just to, um, just to show you the, uh, the, excuse me, we're here just to pick a winner for challenge one of the uh, 12 days of FME, which we've all been involved in. And uh, it's been a lot of fun so far. I think we'll all agree with that. It's been uh, yeah. pretty good, yeah? So Very impressive. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we, we had, well, quite a lot. I'm going to turn caching on and prompt. So the first thing perhaps I should do is start running this to pick a winner. And the yeah. first thing I'll have to do is type the answer in. And the answer is Bhutan. So the idea was to pick a country from the map that was highlighted, but we don't have a partner in. And I'm pretty sure we don't have a partner in Bhutan. <laughs> I don't think so. That was but the... it's an opportunity, Mark. It is. Yeah, we should yeah. do more of that. <laughs> so... Um, so yeah, and there were a lot of other wrong answers. I'll, I'll hit the run button. And what we're going to do is read all of the entries. And you'll notice that I'm filtering out any submissions that were overdue, which was past 11.59 last night. And we had some wrong answers as well. So we had over a, almost 150 entries, Mark? 149, yeah, that was pretty amazing. Thanks, everyone, for, for taking part. Um, so yeah, two people entered after midnight last night so we had to drop your entries i'm afraid and 36 okay. people 36 be on time people, <laughs> <laughs> so 36 people got the wrong answer a lot of people said what do we get brazil italy mongolia italy seemed to be a popular wrong answer uh denmark no we have we yeah. have a reseller with an office in denmark a partner plenty in the us um and yes, French Guiana, but we do have resellers in France, so partners in France, so that's why that gets highlighted on the map. So, mm. um, yeah. But the right. answer was Bhutan. So I ran it through my patent feature shuffler transformer, which has been described by uh, our development team as brutally slow, <laughs> which it probably is a little bit, but that's okay. It works for us here. Um, and we picked a winner, just one person at random. And I turned them into a label and stroke the text. And we'll open up the, the visual preview a bit to give them a bit more prominence. And we ready? Yeah, drum roll. Drum roll. I can't drum roll and click. There we go. <laughs> so Tanya yeah. Gotals, congratulations. Awesome. Woo. Congrats. So congratulations, uh, Tanya. You're the uh, winner of the prize, and we'll uh, get uh, get those off to you as soon as we can. Yeah. The uh, the awkward part is we're only allowed to give one prize. <laughs> um, <laughs> we didn't realize we would get so many entries, um, and we we said in the rules one prize per puzzle, and apparently. <laughs> The Canadian Competitions Act says we're not allowed to change that after the fact. So um, no. sorry about that. We'd give out more if no, you could. No. Noted but, for the next way. <laughs> yeah, next, next competitions next year. But what we can do yeah. is we can highlight various people. We can do things on the community yeah. people. So uh, I picked out two runners up, and we'll perhaps give them a shout out on the community or on the. Uh, That'd be great. Uh, yeah. Just being a runner up, so it's not as yeah, good as the prizes. So, and you don't awesome. get your name in a, in a label, but uh, Danny Moose and Jury. So we'll, awesome. uh, we'll give you a shout out. Well done for getting the correct answer, but uh, nice. not quite being picked. Uh, so what else were we going to do? Oh, we were going to show the uh, solution, weren't we? Shall I do that? Yeah. Um, let's look at the challenges. Challenge number one. 
and solution workspace. And what, do you think we should share the solution? Yeah, um, I think that would be really great, Mark. Yeah. I mean, this was fairly straightforward. All we had to do was, was use the map that was attached and compare it to a copy of the map. So we gave a clue that you could go to that website and create your own partner map, which is what I did. And because I created them both on the web, same website, they've got the same resolution. And all we need to do is run it through a raster expression evaluator. And so that finds the differences that in the, the difference, yes. cell values. Yeah. And all we're yeah. saying is if Ooh, okay. I must have changed the map or moved it somewhere. Let's see if I can find the uh, the map I created. Ah, there we, there we go. I renamed it. But I suspect. You might most... learn how to FME doing this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. You see, this is the uh, we need a merge filter on there. Let's see, this is the dangers of running live demos when move things about. But all we're saying here is if the A band is not equal to the B band, then set the, uh, what are we setting there? We're setting the alpha. So if the A is not zero, then set the alpha. Basically, make it invisible unless it is this country. And we can zoom to the extent, so we can see it's in there. And I can open that up in the data inspector. And actually, I can add the, um, Oh, yeah, the map. Add That's the map on top. And we should be able to see. There we go. It highlights it there. So that's cool. the difference. So, yeah. Excellent. Nice. So, cool. so, yeah, so that was challenge one. Um, and we'll tweet out the winner later. I'm sure Suzanne's going to be uh, on top of that. And it will be. You got it. Out. Fantastic. And day two is in tweeted. Yeah, <laughs> so, challenge two is. So go. <laughs> yes, challenge two is out there already. Um, I'm finding it, I found it very difficult to create an FME solution for challenge two, so <laughs> you may just want to do that manually. But uh, uh, yeah, are we going to do this again next week and pick more yeah. winners? Absolutely. Yeah, looking forward to it, Mark. You're up for that? That means you've got to get up at eight o'clock on Monday morning. And, uh... <laughs> uh, no problem. <laughs> okay. Worth it. Worth it to <laughs> like community winners. It's so much fun. Okay. Superb. Okay. Well, well, thanks again to everyone, and uh, thanks for taking part. And I hope you take part in uh, challenge number two and all of the rest of them. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just make it a fun thing. No stress. Just a little yep. holiday fun, right? Absolutely. Yeah. But with problems, All right. So. Okay. Great. Thanks, everyone. Okay. Great. See Thank you next you. time. Okay.